In this video, you will learn about the basic features of Adriel's dashboard and how to benefit from them. If you run campaigns on multiple channels, we understand how time-consuming it gets just to collect and organize data. With Adriel's dashboard, you can find out how efficient it is to have all your campaigns in one place. Before beginning, connect your ad accounts to Adriel. Once connected, the dashboard will display data from every campaign ever run on your ad accounts. The first page shows you an overview of all campaigns across all channels. In the first half of this tutorial, we will explain how you can benefit from each table on this page. In the following pages, we will talk about detailed data with real examples. Depending on whether or not you have trackers such as Facebook Pixel or Google Analytics connected to your ad accounts, you will have different data sets on the dashboard. If you don't have any trackers, the dashboard's data will be focused on campaign performance. At the top of the dashboard, you will find the average performance results for all your campaigns. With this, you can grasp the overall status of all your paid ads at a glance. However, the benefits of the dashboard become much more clear when you have trackers connected. Unlike Google Analytics or any other trackers, Adriel's dashboard not only shows the campaign performance data, such as CPC, CPA, ROAS, and ad spend for all channels, but also combines conversion data from all the trackers connected into one place. In the following tables, you will be able to compare the results by campaign, channel, ad creative, and audience profile. With the first table, you can compare the performance results by campaign from all channels. If you're managing different groups of campaigns and want to compare the performances by campaign group, you can create your own pivot table directly on the dashboard. If you don't see the performance data you need, you can also customize the table columns. Then, sort the table columns to easily compare the results. With the customized pivot table, you will be able to evaluate the statuses of all your campaign KPIs at a glance, then devise your strategies. Before applying your strategies, go over the other tables to analyze your marketing performance in different aspects and get deeper insights. Keeping the different functionality of each channel in mind, Evaluate the overall performance of each channel from a bird's eye view. Depending on your current marketing objectives, you can confirm if you are allocating the right amount of budget to the right ad channel. In the following tables, you can find the performance data by category, such as ad creative and target audience. Customize each table to find the best ad creative and target audience profile to maximize ROAS. Before moving on to the next tab, filter by time range and campaigns if you have any additional desired conditions. Then, select campaign filters on the search bar to narrow down your results. You can combine multiple search terms and filters to customize your view of the dashboard. To save a filter, click Save, then enter a name for your filter. Check the Campaigns tab to check if you are allocating the right amount of budget to the right channel with the right campaign objective. Find the best performing campaign to achieve your KPIs and benchmark the campaign settings to maximize ROAS. For example, if your KPI is the number of paying users, you can consider increasing the budget for the Google Search campaign as it is the best performing campaign in terms of bringing in paid users with the lowest cost. On the other hand, if you aim to increase the number of signups, it's better to benchmark this Facebook campaign. With reports on graphs, you can grasp the overall trends of each campaign's performance at a glance. On this graph, 
it appears that the campaign in red costs about twice as much as the one in orange in terms of user acquisition. However, in terms of paid user acquisition, the campaign in orange has a higher CPA. Based on these trends, you can consider if a new strategy is needed to reduce your ROI depending on your KPI. In the next tab, you can view the results from your ad creatives and decide which one is the most effective. First, set the campaign filters and sort the table by the column you wish to examine. In terms of complete registration conversion, this ad creative proves to be the best performing one. On the other hand, if your KPI is to increase the number of purchases, a different ad creative should be marked as it costs much less. Finally, adjust your budget allocation or bid strategy for each ad creative to boost the ad creative's performance. Another opportunity to boost your marketing performances comes from analyzing the search terms that are most frequently used by customers for your Google Ads. If you find specific search terms that aren't as relevant to your business but are being frequently delivered, you can add them as negative keywords. This way, you can avoid spending money showing your ads to people who aren't interested in them. One of the most important parts of digital marketing is knowing who your potential customers are. With this case, the key target audience for online marketing consists of males aged 25 to 34 who live in Seoul. Make sure that your target audience is bringing the most income for your business. If you can see who's responding to your ads and the general path they take to become a customer, then you can adjust your targeting and develop the more effective marketing strategy. Through Asio's dashboard, you can check the region, gender, age group, and device type of your potential customers. When it comes to optimizing your ad campaigns, the features on Asio's dashboard help you analyze data and manage your paid ads much more efficiently. With Adriel, maximizing your ROAS is that much easier.